Welcome to an episode of Beyond the Button where we're going to take a look at another kind of open source uh, solution and mixing that with FTK. So last year, haha, well, last year as of the recording of this anyway, uh, at Cyber Social Con, I did a presentation on combining open source solutions uh, with your FTK so that you get the most out of your investigations. And we talked about uh, OpenAI's Whisper. You can check out that video on the channel as well. And we also talked about PyTube, which we're gonna talk about here. Um, and then we talked about one other, we'll save that for another video or something, but we only demoed Whisper in the presentation. That's all I really had time for. So I want to record this where I demo um, an example of PyTube. So if you want to know why you would investigate or why you would need to maybe download a YouTube video, I go over it in detail and quote an article by Kevin Hendricks from American Police Beat. So you go to Cyber Social Hub, you can watch my presentation on demand there. I recommend you check that out. FTK though is going to do the heavy lifting for us to parse out the databases from Chrome, from Edge, from Firefox, from Safari, whatever you're looking for. And it's cool because as you can see here, we have the URL title, we have the URL itself, uh, we can see when they visited, etc. But we don't really know what the content is beyond the title. And that can help us, of course, you know. So for example, in this, we're just gonna take a look at two for the sake of time and ease. But we have the US Army's universal camouflage, a terrible mistake. Uh, and then they watched the video on it. And then like how artillery works uh, featuring the M777777 uh, howitzer. So we'll just pick those two. Uh, we'll take a look at them, but it could be like how to card or how to commit fraud or how to do a, a, a Bitcoin pump and dump or something like that, right? Who knows? But typically the YouTube video will not be found on the system. So we need to go out to YouTube and we want to find it, but we don't want to do it manually. I mean, we could, if we only had two, it would be probably pretty easy to just go and watch two YouTube videos. But as you can see, there's a bunch of other YouTubes here. And um, if they were making a habit out of it, like if you were to look at my YouTube, a lot of Python stuff or whatever, um, you probably wouldn't want to um, manually type in or copy and paste over to your browser to watch them all so we can download them. The other cool thing about downloading them, um, and we'll show it here, is building off of our Whisper video that we did a little while ago we can combine those two and we can transcribe the content of the YouTube video. So we can watch it if we want, or we can transcribe it into text, bring it back into FTK like we did in the Whisper video and just search it for key terms or just read it if that's gonna be faster or more convenient for you. So we can combine and do a lot of cool things with FTK and, and Python here. So uh, we've got our two uh, that we wanna look at. So we'll go to tools and we'll go up to run Python script and we're just gonna do all checked so we see two. Now the script that I wrote to do this will actually filter out YouTube so we could, in my script I wrote it so that you could actually just export all of the URL history regardless of browser or whatever and it would filter down to just YouTube videos but again, for the sake of time. So we'll click next to export that out now the way that FTK does it, and I haven't modified the script yet to support the database itself, is these HTML uh, documents basically that FTK creates to store this information, make it easy to export to show to non-technical people. Uh, I'm reading that. So when we export the URLs, we're basically in the way that I did it, exporting uh, this HTML. But you can write your script or whatever, however you want. So I'm gonna do YouTube Grabber, and then I'm, obviously gonna grab some YouTube, so I'm gonna put it in this out um, directory. You can put it wherever you want. Now, just for the sake of uh, demonstration here, we'll add a dash T to um, transcribe that audio. I also wrote in the script, if you did like dash D, it would download the description uh, of the video as well. So you can, you know, get that. So we'll click next and it's gonna start running the script. 
Now, the cool thing about the FTK Python scripter is you can put in uh, input, okay? So uh, in this case, since we specified transcription, it's gonna ask for the uh, size of the model that it wants to use. For the sake of this, we're just gonna use tiny, so we'll hit enter and it's gonna go. Um, this is the standard warning when you're using Whisper, uh, for at least my system, my processor, it gives me this, but it's running. Okay, once it finishes, we can go and click next. And we could create a bookmark um, for this. We'll just call it, uh, you know, YouTube vids or something. I don't know. And we'll put it in and we'll click next and we're good. Now, again, I didn't do it in this. Check out the whisper. But if you have FTK Connect, which is our automation system, you can have these automatically loaded back in you don't have to do anything. It'll it'll watch that export folder and just automatically bring them back in and, and uh, index them. So again, combining the open source stuff with FTK gets you the most mileage there. So we'll go over to our bookmarks, check out YouTube vids. Okay, so we have our files here. So if we minimize this and we have FTK imager up and we come over to out, I think I might have it open. Yep, here we go. Um, we can see the files here as well, so you can do whatever you want with them. Uh, here we have how artillery works. Imagine you're and, playing mini golf, and play you video can, games know, where you pick a point on the map, and a few seconds later the you know, artillery strike is in good life skills. and explodes right? the map. And so, but how does it actually work in up. real life? We and then we have the other one here, uh, U.S. Army's Universal Camo. And then we have the descriptions in here, complete with all any links that they're linking to, etc. And then we also have uh, the uh, transcription because we fired off Whisper. And so we could load these back in, of course, and do a search. We can pull down our YouTube. We can automatically load this back into our case using FTK and FTK Connect to search it, to report on it, etc. And again, it works into cases where you're trying to show intent. Um, it wasn't accidental or they didn't stumble into it, right? Those types of things. And, um, you know, FTK again does that heavy lifting of parsing out the image, getting us our web history, showing us dates and times and links and all that sort of stuff. And then we just add this little thing here to go out and pull those down, transcribe them, et cetera, so that we can build our case a little more fully and uh, move on from there. So we've gone over how to use it in FTK and how to download the videos once you, from your forensic image. What we'll talk about real quick here is just the basics of PyTube. So you would import PyTube. Uh, so you would, from PyTube, import YouTube. And what that's going to allow us to do is point the YouTube process at link, okay? Which is our YouTube link, of course and ignore the fact that I don't do anything in the except to exit. If the connection fails, of course, it'll just fail once it comes to here, but I'm still building this is not done. Hence the directory being work in progress. So it's going to return this YT object, this YouTube object. From that YouTube object, we can pull things out like title, we can get the description, and we can also get the streams. So this is going to pull back what they call streams. And within that stream is going to be pointers and information related to the video. So for example, have audio streams, text strings, in this case, video strings. So the video streams we can filter out through the um, extension MP4 or the codec MP4. Okay, so what we want to do is first filter down so we just are getting the video streams out of our YouTube object. Then the way that I am doing it is by default, I'm only pulling the low res stream, the lowest resolution, because uh, for most of the stuff where we care more about the content, what's being said, that sort of thing, what they're talking about, than like having this great viewing experience. And so just saving time, saving file size, et cetera. However, um, you could download the highest resolution as well based on your input. Based on that, we get the iTag value for the, either the high resolution or the low resolution 
that's how we determine in this case, using um, the get by I tag, what we're going to download. So in this case, if it was low res, it's gonna give us the number for that. We're gonna return that as stream, and then we're gonna to try to download it and output it to the specific uh, directory that we wanna put it to. Those things are the basics. So you call in the YouTube object on your link, and then you're going to filter to video using MP4. Then you need to get the I tag of whatever stream you want. Now, if you were actually looking at it or other things, there's ways to specify uh, different ones. I did it by resolution, um, so you can do it however you want, but then you're gonna specify get by I tag and, and call that to download, simple as that. So again, I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm always happy to talk about it. And thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.